Okay, welcome to Coffee with Job. Um, we've got our coffee working now and uh, our outrage is, is over, so I'm no longer outraged. And I'm just gonna, do you know, as I said yesterday, when you're going through Job 38, 39, 40, there is a temptation to just to kind of rush it and say, oh, well, it's all this, you know, poetic language. How does it apply to us in today's world? But I, I do just want to take the couple of verses at the end of chapter 38, and next week we'll get into chapter 39. Do you hunt the prey for the lioness and satisfy the hunger of the lions when they crouch in their dens or lie in wait in a thicket? Who provides food for the raven when its young cry out to God and wander about for lack of food? I loved the earlier bit as well, which we skipped over yesterday. Who gives the ibis wisdom or gives the cockerel understanding? I, I never really thought of a cockerel as having understanding. You know, in terms of animals, my father always said this to me, and it was maybe because he was a pigman, but he said that pigs were the most intelligent uh, and sheep are probably the most stupid farm animals. But uh, I, th this is just, it, it's, it's a fascinating little thing piece here. The prey for the lioness. Um, I was thinking about this today because, or yesterday, because this is going to be now Friday. I was at uh, Shore School and one of the boys, I, I loved, I loved being with those boys. And one of the boys asked a great question about what makes humans special and different from the animals. Well, the answer to that is we're made in the image of God. And we have, as the Catechism puts it, knowledge, righteousness and holiness. But I, I don't want people to go to the extreme of saying the animals don't matter. Um, we are animals, we're more than animals, but the animals are important and they do matter and God cares for the animals. And I read of this about the lions getting their food and you know, it's, it's pretty brutal. I mean, do the sharks get their food? We've just had for the first time since 1963, a death off a beach here of a swimmer being eaten by a great white shark. Um, it's made me a little bit, you know, does it make you nervous about going in the water? Absolutely, it really does, because this was quite inland, but it's, I guess it's the first one since 1963. So is this, is this what God intended for? Well, I would argue that there is a passion within nature, but I would also argue there's a fallenness within nature and that some things have just gone wrong. And I would argue that the promise that's given in Isaiah, that the lion will lie down with the lamb, is an, uh, an indication of a nature in harmony. In other words, I think nature's out of harmony, but nonetheless, God still provides. Um, in our, the quantum this week, which we're going out just after this, I play a clip from a woman speaking at the Oxford Union, which is just quite extraordinary, saying that meat-eating is uh, white supremacist. I'm sorry, she really does say that. And amongst other, and misogynist, and I think as if women don't eat meat and other people don't, and animals don't eat each other, which they clearly do. And that's what's said here. But I love this, this, this detail that's in there. And you know, as an application for ourselves, if you go to Matthew 6:25. Therefore I tell you, says Jesus, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, or reap, or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your life, or add a single inch to your height, or cubit to your height, or whatever it is? So. We have this huge variety of birds around here. And it says, your heavenly father feeds them. He's gonna clothe you. He's gonna provide for you. I think there's a real challenge for us as Christians to grasp hold of that. In a world which human beings manage, we stuff up food provision so many times, we get it wrong. But in a world which God manages, he doesn't. And I think his people can rely on the fact that he will provide. So, God bless you. Uh, have a great weekend. On Sunday, I'm going to be doing the second of our songs for Sunday. 
So feel free to join us for that. Otherwise, I will see you on Monday. Bye.